Hello from Canada, guys. Zach Hampel here at Rogers Center, and I'm so happy to be back because since last season, this place has had a $300 million renovation. The outfield seats used to be really annoying, the whole configuration. Now it looks amazing. So it's gonna be crazy, bobblehead giveaway, but really looking forward to batting practice and everything else that follows. So let's head inside, eh? And here we go inside the stadium. Just a few fans outside, right? Look at this, former Jays manager Charlie Montoyo hitting fungos right there. And I decided to post up here on the first base side hoping that the White Sox might toss a ball. So here I am jumping up like an idiot, trying to get the player's attention. And yeah, it wasn't exactly working. So players starting to play catch right there. I'm just standing around thinking, boy, I really picked a bad day to be here with this bobblehead. So there's Joe Kelly and Mike Clevenger. I'd sure love to eavesdrop on that conversation. And yeah, the frustration was continuing. Look at the new configuration here. That's a standing room area. So people rush to get in there and right here, that section of bleachers is also designated as general admission, so it gets packed early. You'll see that area in lots more detail in just a bit. Signing autographs from here, trying to keep an eye on the field, but not much happening, just some White Sox goofing around a bit. And look at this, Dylan Cease chucks a ball up. I was late to get there. That's me scampering through the seats. I really had no chance, so I gave up on the seats in foul territory, headed through the crowded concourse, and stopped to take a quick peek at the bullpen from above, but I'm not gonna show that to you yet. But wait, it's coming, so just look how crowded it is, heading down into the seats, out in right field, right center, and I turn to the left here again. You can see this bleacher section, people are sitting down, filling the seats at the start of BP. Very strange sight. So this, I think, is Andrew Vaughn in the cage. And pretty sure this is Luis Robert Jr. just crushing one to center field. This ball went over the batter's eye and the fans there dropped it. Look at the player's reaction. It's like, come on, what are you doing up there? So here I am sort of stumbling around for positioning. This home run gets caught in traffic. Just, I mean, I was so stressed at this point for BP to be this crowded at the start as you see the new look bullpen. I was convinced that I was gonna get shut out, but look at this. I slipped down into the corner spot thanks to these guys who were so nice and let me stand there. So I told them, as you see the view in the first row, that if I caught a ball there, I would give it to them. And look at this, down in the center field gap, there actually was a baseball, but no chance to get that one. And Got to give the White Sox credit, they were being somewhat generous. You can see this ball gets tossed up into the seats. And here's another one, you can see me raising my arms there. I thought I might get it, but it was tossed about, what, 10 feet to my left. And that's not surprising because I just simply was not standing out. And also, I hope this is the last bobblehead game that I ever go to for the rest of my life. So at a certain point, the White Sox stopped throwing balls into the crowd and I was just like, yeah, I am truly done out here, even in the corner spot. So I ducked back under the railing, thanked the fans there, they were really cool, and headed back through this packed concourse over into foul territory. My strategy was to camp out behind the first base dugout, you can see me right there. And when the White Sox finally cleared the field after batting practice, I was hoping that they might notice me and toss me a baseball, but look at this. They were still bunting when I got over there, which means that a whole new group of batting practice was just starting. So I was like, well, if I'm staying here, I might as well do what I can to make myself stand out. So put on my White Sox shirt, and you can just see how things played out from here. Today, and this baseball. 
baseball, by the way, is very lightweight. I normally give away all the balls, but I want to keep this one because it is so light. I'm going to take it home and weigh it, and I'm going to put the weight of the ball right here on the screen. Balls are supposed to be just a little over five ounces, so we'll see. I think it's going to be under five. And by the way, I'm hanging out here in the concourse trying to shout to you guys because it's so loud in the seating bowl. The roof is closed today because it's so cold. So that just traps the sound. And I do want to get out to the outfield and explore that new layout. But very quickly, I got to give a shout out to my friends over at SeatGeek because they are sponsoring this video. And by the way, SeatGeek is now the official ticket marketplace of Major League Baseball, which is awesome. So they've got you covered for all your ticketing needs. And I got you covered as well because my friends at SeatGeek have given me a link that I can share with you guys, and you can use it to save 10% on your tickets anytime you use the app, whether or not it's the first time you've used it. Great deal. Basically, nobody else has this deal. And I'll explain how it works in just a second. But first, very quickly, for those who still don't know what SeatGeek is, it's an app that gathers tickets from all over the internet into one spot to make it so easy to buy them. You can see up here on the screen what it looks like when you're using the app. So, on the seating chart, when you see all those colorful dots, guys, the green ones, those are the good ones. The red ones, those are bad. SeatGeek also rates every ticket from one to 10, so you can tell right away how good of a deal you're getting. And SeatGeek also has a buyer guarantee, and get this, it's the only app that lets you return tickets ahead of the event through a feature called Swaps. So that's really awesome. Now as far as saving the money, so easy. Here's what you gotta do. Check the description for this video. You'll find a link there, and when you click it, just sign in or sign up for SeatGeek, and the savings will be applied automatically to your account. So again, click the link in the description to save 10% any time you use the app. You guys gotta take advantage. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. It's been downloaded, you ready for it? More than 28 million times, and every day on SeatGeek, there's more than 70,000 events. So obviously, Blue Jays tickets were there, all baseball tickets, all sports. You wanna go see a concert, go to a festival, check out a comedy show, anytime you're gonna buy a ticket, check out SeatGeek first. And what I'm gonna check out now is that new outfield configuration. This is officially an amazing spot, and if it weren't so damn crowded, this would be a great place to catch home runs, but I just love the setup and all the nooks and crannies. Check this one out. Ready for it? Ready for it? <laughs> that is pretty sweet. This game has moved along to the fourth inning. The White Sox are on top two to nothing. And I'm so impressed with this stadium and what they've done. It's so open. There's so much room and space to hang out. Speaking of which, look who I'm hanging with. Hey, 
What's going on, guys? It's my buddy Jordan. I feel like this is a ritual every time I come to Toronto. Gotta see this dude, and he's visited me enough in New York. I was gonna say, you owe me a lot now. Yeah, I owe, here. <laughs> I owe a lot of visits, so we're just wandering around together. And show everybody what the big deal is today. Yeah, the Romano Jansen handshake bobblehead. That's why a zillion people showed up early, so anyway. Uh, I'm slowly making my way over toward the left field seats where I have tickets. I might actually sit in my ticketed seat at some point, but yeah, just having a really good time exploring this place. with a three-run homer right there to put the Jays on top four to two. And man, I wish I were still out in that standing room area by the right field bullpen, because that's right where that baseball ended up. But <laughs> I've committed to wandering around this place, so that's what we're gonna keep on doing. You know, I'm getting some target field vibes from that right angle standing room area down the left field line. But anyway, for right now, heading to the seventh inning, Jays are still on top four to two, and the time has come for me to check out my actual ticket, which is down in there. So I'm gonna finish up the game, last three innings in those seats. Let's do it. This day was rather stressful for me at the start with the huge pre-game crowd, but it ended on such a high note, being close to the Blue Jays bullpen for the last few innings. And I especially loved getting up close to their closer, Jordan Romano, when he entered the game in the ninth inning. That dude is a fan favorite here, and this place always goes nuts when he enters the game. Cameras following him, lights flashing, and the Jumbotron paying tribute on top of it all. And he got the job done easily, retiring the White Sox in order to nail down the save. So this was a very convincing win tonight by Toronto. They did fall behind early, but scored five unanswered runs to win this game by the score of five to two. And I stumbled into a little action myself after that, unexpectedly getting a toss up from Jays reliever Anthony Bass on his way out of the bullpen. That one felt really good, not just for me, but I assume also for the young fan that I handed it to. And so that was my second baseball of the day. Not a huge numbers day, could have predicted it. I did predict it, it's a bobblehead game. That obviously was gonna make it tough, but I avoided the shutout. And again, this, this whole day, this video, it wasn't about piling up big numbers. It was about exploring this stadium. And you can just see it behind me. You know, the groundskeepers, they're watering down the mound. What an outstanding job renovating this place, making it so fan friendly, adding so many areas for people to hang out with any ticket. You can go and, and hang in these various spots where you get a great view 
and can even catch a ball in certain circumstances. So thumbs up to the Jays. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, lifetime baseball total, 12,090. And oh wait, we gotta get, we gotta get the man in there. Fenway Chris. Hi everybody. We're back at it. And we will be back here tomorrow for one more video. And guys, what do they have to do in the description? Smash that like button and subscribe. Well, actually also click the SeatGeek link and save some money on your tickets. Um, that's it. I'm out. Bye.